بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى has sent us for a purpose and objective in this world there may be trials and tribulations to test this insan whether he is genuine or fake part of the trap is where a another human being traps another human that may be in a form of a romance, which is a skill in itself, which can be used for deception. And people go out there to trap people, whether it's women who entice men, and Nisa wa Habailu Shayateen Shaytan, women are the traps of Shaytan, or vice versa, where women become targets and men try to enslave and capture women through romance by putting in a front, by putting forward a front. So we have to be careful, we have been sent for a purpose and we don't get caught in the strap of dunya. Part of the plotting and planning of shaitan was through media, through television, to indoctrinate, indoctrinate the minds of the people of Iman, to corrupt their minds, so that the mizaj and the mindset of Batil becomes their mindset. So we have an instrument which is engineered for bad, but it could be used for good. And you have something that has been invented for good reasons but it's utilized for all the wrong. So it's up to the individual to utilize those avenues which Allah has made available. It is up to us with regards to Hollywood, Bollywood, all these forms of batil. They say Hollywood is what? It is a place where they shoot too many pictures and not enough actors. One series after another series after another series, a person who can watch their whole lifetime will not be enough. And part of the indoctrination, another saying about Hollywood, the brides there keep the bouquets and throw away the groom. Any of these stars that people see, their marriages don't last long, their lives are full of turmoil and disruption. So outwardly, in reality, that very actor, their life is a disaster. But in the film, in the movie, they portray. And many people love a life of Bollywood, where they expect at the end of the story, they loved heavily, happily ever after. And at the end of the story, the hero, the superhero, always wins and the villain is overpowered. That's just a fairy tale, that's a story, it doesn't happen like that. The Haq, Rahmatullah addressing the people of Damascus said, Ya Ahla Dimashq, Antumul Ikhwan Fid Dunya. You have become brothers, associates with regards to dunya. Why are you not brothers for deen? So you're looking out for each other, you're doing mergers, you're doing business deals, you're procuring property, you're enhancing yourself with regards to dunya and your associations are due to dunya. When will your movement, your association, your focus be deen and akhirah? Well, jiran, fiddar, and you are neighbors with regards to houses. Means if you are good to each other or you worry about each other, then you worry about your neighbor. But you are not neighbors for the house of Akhirat. Why don't you worry about each other to procure and to secure Jannah? Why don't you worry and concern yourself about protecting yourself from the torment of Jahannam? Only in the worldly means you see each other, but with regards to Akhirat, there's no mention of that whatsoever. Wal Ansar al al and you people are aids to the enemies. Means those people who are your enemies 
for your deen. They will destroy your akhirat. You are assisting them. You are supporting them. You are physically and monetarily supporting those structures which will destroy your dunya and destroy your akhirat. مَا يَمْنَعُكُمْ مِنْ مَوَدَّتِي What is stopping you? What is preventing you from attaching yourself to me and taking benefit from the ulama and taking benefit from the mashayikh and taking benefit from the Ahlullah? مَا لِي أَرَى عُلَمَاءَكُمْ يَذْهَبُونَ I see that your ulama, your scholars are departing from this world. That there is a rarity. These ulama are treasures, like a rare coin. As time goes, the value increases. These people are the people of expertise of Akhirat, and they are departing from this world, and they are becoming very rare. Yet, you don't engage your time and your resources to benefit from these ulama. وَجُّهَالَكُمْ لَا يَتَعَلَّمُونَ And the ignorant amongst you remain ignorant, you remain jahil, you remain completely independent of these mashayikh and these people who are the flag bearers of Islam and who are the guides. When you hold on to their hands, they will take you to Jannah. What has happened to you people? So, Allah has given us all these forms and technology and whatever else it is, a person should not make that day Imam and resort to that, but we should make sure we are connected to the Ulama'i Rabbaniyin, those ulama that are connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They say a person went for hunting and it was a very expensive expedition. So in that area that they went, it so happened that obviously uh, a hunter has to look at the temperature, and look at the location, there's a lot of factors we need, he needs to see the correct time, where do the animals graze, where's the water holes. He looks for the opportunities to get it right. So as they were going, a, a local came to him and said that tomorrow there will be rain. So he didn't listen to that local and sure enough, the next day it rained. So they decided, okay, let's just go for a tour and a few days later, we will try again. It so happened that day when they came for hunting again, this local uh, came to them and said, tomorrow a storm will come. So they ignored him and the day which was planned for the hunt, a storm did come. A storm did come. So he was impressed. So he told the people that I want to hire this person here when we go for our hunt and he should be on our payroll. So he kept on doing whatever he needed to do and the day came for his hunt again, which was planned for. So when he came there, he even noticed him and he said, you know what, tomorrow I got something big happening. And I've been looking forward to this hunt. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? So the local person said, he shrugged his shoulders and he said, I have no clue. I don't have a clue. Radio broken. Radio broken, don't know. So on one side, it was looking like he knew and he was good and he's an expert. But on the other side, he was not an expert whatsoever. So it shouldn't be also, we should look and search for the ulama, the mashayikh, the people of deen that will take us close to deen, take us close to Allah. And that's what the haq was saying, that the ulama are departing and it is happening today. And there's no shock, desire, a person studied in maktab, assalamu alaikum, complete gone. A person sends their child, they don't even finish the complete syllabus, take them out from maktab, but keep them in school. So we compromise in on deen, but we never ever compromise on dunya. That is a big deception and a docker which we need to get out of and we need to come. And he said, وَرَاكُمْ قَدْ أَقْبَلْتُمْ عَلَى مَا تُكْفَلُ لَكُمْ بِهِ that which Allah has taken responsibility of and Allah has decided that He will provide for your risk, let yet you strive 
and you make effort for something which has been guaranteed. وَتَرَكْتُمْ مَا أَمَرْتُمْ بِهِ And that which Allah has commanded you, you have abandoned. You have abandoned and you have left it completely. أَلَا إِنَّ قَوْمًا بَنَوْ شَدِيدًا Listen properly, listen attentively. I see people spending all their wealth in building structures and extensions and that is their focus when your actual bull should be the bull for Qabr, your actual bull should be the bull for Jannah. And they've gathered, amassed, they've got portfolios distributed across the earth, plan A, plan B, plan C. بَنَوْ شَدِيدًا جَمَعُوا كَثِيرًا وَأَمَلُوا بَعِيدًا And they have hopes and they have aspirations and they have expectations of life of a hundred, a thousand years. They plan to live forever but their death is written for today. فَأَسْبَهَ بُنْيَانَهُمْ قُبُورًا But their houses, their structures, their palatial mansions have become Qabars have become desolate. They know my inhabitant. The actual house is the Qabar. And their hopes, Ghurura. And their hopes have become a deception because they will not see the future what they wanted. Wajam'uhum Bura. And all the wealth that they've gathered has become destroyed, has been destroyed. Like a person who builds a shop, but he leaves holes in that shop, then no matter how big a shop he has built, it is not beneficial, it will sink. Like that we've got an opportunity to build our akhirat. Let's not build a fortified shop of dunya, but let us build such a shop that it will prepare us for akhirat. So this dhaka and this deception of the dunya, we should not get caught by the strap because shaitan, iblis, nafs are out there to destroy us. They say there was a couple who on the first day they returned home. So the husband addressed the wife. And this is a lesson that dunya is not what it seems and people are not what they say. And life is not what we think. We need to get to the bottom of everything. So the husband tells the wife, if you make the toast and pour the juice, breakfast will be ready. If you make the toast and pour the juice, breakfast will be ready. So the wife was amazed and she was shocked and she was delighted. She said, how thoughtful of you, my darling. What are we having? So the husband said, toast and juice, toast and juice, we're not having anything else. Whatever you're going to make, that's breakfast. So outside and inside, there's a big deception. We should not get caught those before marriage unchaste, during marriage unchaste, a deception. Immorality has become common. If a person doesn't even regulate their spiritual life, then that will overlap and infidelity and zina will become common. They say there was a honeymoon couple, they return home not on speaking terms. So the friend asked the groom that, how was your honeymoon and I don't see you very happy. So the groom said, you know, after we were intimate on the first night and I got ready to go to the bathroom, in my pocket there was a $500 note sticking out, so I just took it out so that I don't forget, it might get fall on the floor and I'll lose it, so I put it on the pillow without thinking. So his friend said, don't worry, your wife will get over it, she don't won't even think or fathom that maybe before marriage you were doing all of this and you were going to unchaste women. So the husband, the groom said, maybe, but that's not my concern. I'm not worried if she won't get over it. I don't think so, I'm going to get over it. He gave me a hundred dollar note change. She gave me a hundred dollar note change. 
So dunya is like that. It's full of doka, it's full of deception. We should not get caught. They say in the time of Ubaid bin Umair, Rahmatullah alayhi, كانت امرأة جميلة. There was a beautiful woman in Mecca. وكان لها زوج. And she had a husband. She was married. فنظرت يوما إلى وجهها في المرآة. One day while looking to the mirror, she admired herself. She began to idolize and marvel that the beauty Allah had endowed her with. And she was notorious. She was notorious for her beauty. فَعَجَبَتْ بِجَمَالِهَا So being delighted and captivated and astonished by her beauty فَقَالَتْ لِزَوْجِهَا أَتَرَى يَرَى أَحَدٌ هَذَا الْوَجْهِ يَلَا يُفْتَتًا بِهِ Do you think so it's possible? She said jokingly, do you think so it's possible? Anybody is going to see my beautiful face and not get seduced or tempted and enticed? Is it possible any man sees my face and does not get enchanted? So he said, Naam, definitely, there is somebody. So the wife was stunned, she was offended. That how can it be that there is anybody like that? And how even can my husband even say something like that? So she asks, Man, who are, who's this person you're speaking about? Maybe you're just saying that to say it. You just want to spite me. So he said, no, 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 no. You got it wrong. She was baffled and perplexed and uh, perplexed and bewildered. Qala Ubaid ibn Umair. This person here, yeah, Ubaid. So she said, oh, you put in on a challenge. You've got guts. Give me permission. Fa'adhan li fihi. Give me permission to try to entice him and enchant him. I'll make effort to prove you wrong. I will tempt him and lure him. So the husband also said, no problem. You want the challenge. Kad avin tu laki. I give you permission. Fa'atathu kal mustaftiya. So she came. To Masjid al Haram asking for a masla, looking for Mufti Sahib. Where's Mufti Sahib? So, vice versa, when we in that opportunity and moment where it is only us and somebody else in solitude, then remember your Allah is there. Don't buckle. فَخَلَا مَعْهَا فِي نَعْيَ مِنَ الْمَسْجِرِ الْحَرَمِ So he went one side while she was in hijab in the masjid to answer her question. فَأَسْفَرَتْ لِلْمَرْأَ أَنْ وَجْهِهَا She unveiled, she uncovered her face. فَكَأَنَّهَا أَسْفَرَتْ أَنْ مِثْلِ فِلَقِدِ الْقَمَرِ When she exposed and uncovered her face, it shone and it glowed like a half moon. فَقَالَ لَهَا يَا أَمَتَ اللَّهِ He said, O servant of Allah, فَقَالَتْ إِنِّي قَدْ فُتِنْتُ بِكِ فَانْذُرْ فِي أَمْرِ He said, O slave of Allah, O slave girl of Allah, O servant of Allah, definitely I have been ensnared, I've been tempted, enticed, enchanted, I've been caught, I'm gone. But let me explain to you the situation here. So you tell me what to do. Inni sa'i luki an shayin. I'm going to ask you something. Fa'in sadaqtati, fa'in sadaqti nadartu fi amri. If you speak the truth, I'll consider fulfilling my desire and temptation with you. But give me a true answer. Qalat la tas'alni an shayin illa sadaqtuk. I'll answer every question. So he said, أَخْبِرْنِي لَوْ أَنَّ مَلَكَ الْمَوْتَ أَتَاكَ يَقْبِضُ رُوحَكِ The angel of death had to come. Would you be happy? قَضَيْتُ لَكِ هَذِهِ الْحَاجَةِ I fulfill my desire. قَالَتْ لَا She said, no ways. He said, you spoke the truth. قَالَ فَلَوْ أَدْخَلْتِ فِي قَبْرِكِ If you're in the قَبْر and you ask the questions, and you know the situation. أَكَانَ يَسُرُّكِ أَنِّي قَدْ قَضَيْتُ لَكَ هَذِي الْحَاجَةِ At that time, would you have liked it that I fulfill my ambition? 
قَالَتْ أَلَّهُمَّ لَا She said no ways. صَدَقْتِ He said you spoke the truth. فَلَوْ أَنَّ النَّاسَ عُوْتُوا كُتُبَهُمْ لَا تَدْرِينَ تَأْخُذُينَ كِتَابَكِ If you are given your books and you don't know whether it's on the left, on the right, will you be pleased that I fulfill my aspirations? She said no. He said you spoke the truth. If you have to cross the pull sirat and you don't know if you're going to fall in, will you be pleased that I fulfill my desire? She said, no. He said, you spoke the truth. If you are crossing and being going to, after pull sirat, you are receiving your books on the scales and you don't know if it's going to be heavy or light, would you be happy that I fulfill my desire? She said, no. He said, you spoke the truth. If you are standing before Allah, would you be happy that I fulfill my ambition? She said, no. He said, you spoke the truth. He said, ittaqillah ya amat Allah. Fear Allah, fear Allah, fear Allah. Qad amallahu alayk. Allah has favored you. Wa ahsana ilayki. Allah has bestowed you with beauty, bounties. Use it in the right avenues. Before the day come, you will regret every second of your life. Faraja'at ila zawjiha. She went back to her husband and فَقَالَ لَهَا مَا سَنَعَتِ What has happened? قَالَتْ She said, أَنْتَ بَطَّال You are useless, you are false, you are worthless, you are futile. وَنَحْنُ بَطَّالُونَ We are living a life of falsehood and deception. ثُمَّ أَقْبَلَتْ عَلَى الصَّلَاةِ وَالصَّوْمَ الْعِبَادَةِ She decided to dedicate her life for Allah. And after that day, her husband used to say, Mali wali Ubaid ibn Umair, what has happened to my life? And this person obeyed, Afsad ala zawjati, he has corrupted my wife, he has spoiled my life, he has disrupted and corrupted my happiness. My life has become diluted now. Kanat kulla laylatin. Every night she was a bride. Now she made, he made a rahib, a friend of Allah. When we are in that moment of disobedience, let's not get caught in the trap of Allah, in the trap of shaitan and turn to Allah. The husband still said, Obey disrupted my life. He still never get hidayat. May Allah protect us and give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru dawana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.